Well, hello, we are back out in the garden and this is where I spend what? Most of my waking hours during the spring, summer and fall, the vegetable gardens. And what we're doing is just some cauliflower maintenance. Now, so many of you have been following and have started seeds with me or bought seedlings and then planted them with me in the garden. And you are so excited about gardening. And some of you have never done it before and you're saying, wait, what do I do? This thing is growing. Do I take care of it? Do I have to do anything? What do I do? So with cauliflower, Usually you plant them in early spring and you can pick them in my zone 5B. It's gonna be any time maybe in mid to late June. It kind of depends on your growing season what's happening. The important thing is as the cauliflower is growing, as it's getting bigger, yes, you need to keep it watered if you're not getting regular rains, but also let's look in here. You see a beautiful baby head of cauliflower. It's beautiful, but a lot of cauliflower, even if it sells, says self blanching, it's gonna blanch in the sun and actually turn a little bit of yellow. That actually makes it kind of bitter. It can make it kind of hard to eat. It isn't as good. So what do you do? You have to make sure it is covered and protected. So the best way to do that, it's natural leaves. So you take cauliflower, you bunch up the leaves. Look what I'm doing. See how easy that is? Oh, and then you expose your weeds. You guys, once in a while you get a few. So you could do twine. But you know what I find? Wire, twine, any of those things can kind of cut into the leaves and kind of actually sometimes make it so it doesn't hold well and it's just not the best for the plant. You know what the best is? Hose. Hose in the hosiery section. You can go to thrift stores, secondhand stores, you can find it. It doesn't matter if it has runs in it. It's what works well. Why? Because it's stretchy. It completely protects the plant and it keeps the plant safe. So as you can see, I'm just using it's like one leg of hose. I cut them in half and you can do about one leg per plant. This works great on any of your plants anywhere that you want to tie up because it just makes the perfect easy thing. So what you can do now is every so often you can either peek in the side underneath and keep watching that head grow. And when it's about the size of where you're going to see it's getting kind of big, if it starts to pull apart at all and you see in between the little cauliflower florets, it's, it's gonna be almost past ready to pick. You want it to stay tight and big, and then you know it's ready to pick. If it starts opening up, it means it wants to bloom. You don't want it to bloom. It will send out a thing in the middle, and it's never near as good to do. So come out and check your cauliflower as they're growing. See where they're at. Sometimes you have to peek inside. So this one, they naturally like to protect themselves, but they don't always do a good job. But this one, you can see it's leaves are tight, but if you pull them back, oh, there it is. Look at that beauty. So again, don't worry, I came prepared. I got two, two legs. Again, I'm gonna pull it up. We're gonna take these leaves. We're pushing and bunching them together. Now you guys, I know some of you might be asking, what are you gonna do with the leaves? Can you do anything with them? Okay, yes, you can. You can cook with them, use them like a collard green. Cook them, soften them. First chop the ribs up and saute them and then cook the greens, you can do that. They're delicious. So I'm tying it again, tie it, and then you can make a bow. I kind of just make a one-sided bow and you can pull it out easily. Look at it, perfect. They're easier to water now because you can see right where you need to get to the root and they're not gonna blanch. They, weren't, they won't turn yellow and they're gonna stay a nice bright white. Now, if you plant purple cauliflower, if you plant green cauliflower, there's even, I think, orange, tie them up too because they can blanch too and still get that weird coarse, not as good a taste. So it's some cauliflower maintenance. It's just a way to kind of maintain and check things and make sure they're growing well and keeping them good so they are delicious to eat. Because what you grow at home, if you have healthy soil, it's gonna be better for you. It's gonna have more minerals, more nutrients, and just make you happy and that's the point. So share these videos around because yeah, it helps me when you share them around, but it also helps spread the word that this is doable, this is easy, this is fun. And if I can do it, I know you can do it. We can all do it and the world will be a healthier, greener place. Check my website, wiseguy.com for tips, for tricks, for recipes, and just a whole lot more of me. I'm gonna keep working in the garden. I think I see some things that need to be picked. And until next time, I'm gonna keep working.